Hi, welcome back to Breakfast Television. You are listening to Vox Fire at Pusa Terry's this morning, and we are going to learn how to make the perfect charcuterie board. Right, Pablo? Yes, we absolutely are. All right, I'm very excited because so, I love cheese, and that's, oh, I hope there's going to be a lot of cheese on it. Well, as you can see, we've picked the right spot to hang yeah. out, and we've got, like, an amazing assortment of product, but really, uh, as I was saying to you before, you can't go wrong with a charcuterie board. Um, the, what you really want to look out for is creating a balance of flavors, okay. and textures, uh, and, like, flavor profiles. So a, a bit of sweet and salty, hot, soft and crunchy, um, tangy and sweet, all of these things need to be kind of in combination and among all of those things, once you get all of that, you'll have a very well, very well laid out board. All right, let's do this. So you're gonna help I'm me. ready. I just picked a few cups. I should uh, undo my, my yeah, clip here. <laughs> <laughs> so because it's the holidays, um, people are definitely going to be entertaining more mm -hmm. and the charcuterie board is a great way to open up a dinner. Yes, uh, so start the palate. I picked a couple of different cheeses. People like to explore with truffle during the holidays, so yes. I picked two uh, truffle, truffle cheeses. Uh, so we have an Italian truffle cheese. This is a borschetto. Okay. Uh, and then we have a Spanish uh, truffle cheese as well. So okay. Um, what I've done here is um, I've pre-cut some some slices. Uh, Just to like put so it's like easy to pick, right? Exactly. And what you do when you lay when you lay out your your board, I really like having a mix of whole pieces and slices so that people. Okay. You kind of have to invite people to get into the board first. Right. Like, everyone's a bit intimidated by cutting into a big piece of cheese. So <laughs> you're inviting yourself right into this. And how does it feel? It feels great, right? It feels great. It's okay. delicious. So um, we've different. got... This one's different than this one. Very yeah. different. So the Italian is a lot more mild, I think, right? Mm. And uh, the Spanish one gives you a little bit of a different flavor. And also the profile of the, the texture of the cheese is very different. So. Um, parmigiano. Parmigiano. You know you Parmigiano, can't go wrong. right? Yes. This is like the famous Italian. I mean, this would be an excessive piece to put on the board, so you definitely want to put this a little is, bit of a smaller This piece. is par parm in its <laughs> true form, and so what we do, we sell it, of course, like in all different uh, shapes and sizes. Okay. Uh, but with uh, the three three year age Parmigiano, we've okay. got um, a, a, a number of Italian uh, meat products. Meats? So this is uh, Felino. Uh, salami, so we've cut them up into beautiful um, little slices. Okay. And I brought in also a Spanish Iberico ham. So this is uh, a Joselito uh, Iberico ham. So these all the, these pigs are fed acorns their entire life. So the wow. meat has an incredible, uh, a beautiful, beautiful, tender flavor. Okay. And I saw you eyeing this olive I'm gonna, bread. Earlier. I'm going to eat this olive bread and continue to layer my board as uh, we things throw things over to Jordan <laughs> with airborne traffic. So let me grab some of these really exciting Peppadoo Peppas. 